Hi, my name is Nikhil and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to restore the backup using the Restore dialog in PG Admin 4. The Restore dialog uses an option of PG underscore Restore Client Utility. So let's open PG Admin. Before we use the Restore dialog, let's take a backup of database that we will use in Restore. Connect to any database server. Here you can see I have already created a sample database test backup which contains four tables. So let's take a backup of the database. Select database node. Right click and in context menu select backup. Select all required fields. You can find more information about how to take a backup and how it works in video of how to take a backup using pgadmin4. You can find the link of video in the description. Take a backup of database. Test backup. I have given the name. So I am not changing any fields right now and simply take a backup. So you can check the progress of the backup in the process tab. Click on view details. So now we can see backup is successfully completed. Now let's restore the database now. Create a new database. Restore backup. Now you can open the restore dialog by using the context menu right from right click and select the restore or you can choose it from the tools restore in the general tab specify the information about the backup file and format of the file that is going to be restored select the format it is a custom plus star as we have taken the same in backup now select the file in the file name click on browse button and here you can find I have created the test backup.sql earlier so select it use the number of job field specify if the pg underscore restore should use multiple concurrent jobs to process the restore each job uses the separate connection to the server in role specify the role name to the role that will be used to authenticate with the server during the restore process so let's check the next tab database options Use the fields in the database options tab to provide the option related to database that correspond to the PG restore. The sections field box specify the content that will be restored. Now you can see if you want to restore a data, post data or pre data. Type of object field box specify the object that will be restored like only data or only schema. Do not save box specify which objects will not be restored. If I don't want to restore any privileges on the backup I can simply select privileges in do not save so privileges will not get restored now click on the query options use the additional fields to specify the type of statement that would be included in the restore for example you can select the create database statement to include the command that creates a new database before performing the restore let's check the table options the table option tab related to tables that should be included in the backup now you can enable the row reverse security in restore or disable it by default it is disabled now click on the options tab use the fields in option tab to provide the other restore options disable of box specify the type of statement that should be excluded before the restore the miscellaneous or behavior box to specify the miscellaneous restore options you can select or deselect the options as per your choice and requirements. Now you can simply click on the restore button. Here you can see it has created the new process. Click on view process. And now in details you can check PG admin for using a PG restore utility with all the required as arguments. And here we can see the backup file we have provided. Now let's check whether it has restored the database or not so i will simply refresh click on schemas go to tables here you can see it has countries departments employees and location table which is similar to the test backup database
let's see the data is present or not select the countries and click on view edit data here you can see all the countries are present this way you can use the restore dialog in pgadmin4 thank you for watching the video and i hope you liked the video and will find it useful thank you